So do you just do this full time or about? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is to Hi, we're in Dublin today to interview the lovely Sarah and Emma for the book OMG What to Complete Ashling, which will be out in uh, August in Germany. And maybe for the German viewers, would you like to tell us a little bit about the plot without spoiling too much on what it's about? Ooh, so we meet Ashling and she is in her late twenties. Um, she has a long-term boyfriend and she, like many women of her age, are hoping for the day she's going to get the ring on her finger. And the plot kind of takes off when um, that doesn't really happen and she has to make a big decision in her life, like, am I going to, you know, stay waiting around to get married? Am I going to take a leap? And she ends up taking a leap and she's a country girl, so she lives in, like, the countryside in Ireland and she moves up to Dublin and meets all these new people and is introduced to a lot of new concepts yeah. and foods and <laughs> words. She moves into quite a, a swanky, um, quite a, a fancy apartment yeah. um, with girls who she wouldn't normally be exposed to. They wouldn't normally be friends. But they're hipsters. They're hipsters. She hipsters. definitely <laughs> isn't. Um, and even though they're so different, they get on really well. Yeah. Um, and she goes through a bit of an awakening. Um, and kind of realises what she wants for her life. Yeah. That's really lovely. I personally love the book. And what I was wondering, I bet you could ask that a lot, is um, do you were writing the book together. Mm -hmm. How did you decide who writes which scenes, or how was the writing process? Um, when we started writing this book, obviously yeah. either, neither of us had ever written a book before. Oh, it was um, the first one, too. First oh, yes. one, yeah. We had to Google, how do you write we a book? We literally Googled, <laughs> like, how do you write a book? What is a plot? Now, obviously, we've read a lot of yeah. books, and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we... We didn't really, we had to make up a system, yeah. so we decided we decided what would happen in the first few chapters, and then we thought, okay, well, we're just going to have to start writing because we're running out of time, well, we, we had a deadline. Really plotted, you just we had like a vague plot, okay. we, had, we kind of knew, but we didn't yeah. really. A lot of things happen organically, and when we tell you know, authors who write books by themselves how we work, they're like... Yeah. <laughs> so because yeah. you know I will start something and then Ymir will literally pick up my thoughts but again yeah. they're, they're not my thoughts they're Ashton's thoughts yeah. and Ashton is a character we created nearly 12 years ago now oh, so wow. we, we know her inside out yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was just yeah. it was just it came very natural to us that's how we did it um, so we literally flipped a coin I think I did the first chapter and then <laughs> I did the second one really so we cool. write we don't sit down together and write yeah. we've done that in bits and pieces yeah. for, for various other projects and it takes forever so yeah because you're going over each sentence yeah. and you couldn't you, you just couldn't do it and um so we go away and we write sections separately and then we come back together okay. like not big huge sections like chapters yeah. and we come back together and we exchange them and we say god i loved that and i loved that character there's a character in the book called size who's yeah. a big character and um I think you introduced her. One of us just introduced her. Just trying to get to the work. Just <laughs> like, God, we knew who one of the characters would be in this office she, she works in, and Sai was one of them. She ends up being a massive character in yeah, the book. Yeah, and I loved her too. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's really cool. So, mm. Ashling was there first. You had a Facebook group, I read that too. So, was yeah. it that the idea came out of the Facebook group for Ashling? Yeah, so um, Emer and I met at college. We studied media together, and um, we hit it off pretty quickly. We had a great social life. We ended up <laughs> We liked going out six nights a week. <laughs> we ended up moving in together with another friend of ours um, and one very hungover, I don't know if it was a Sunday or a Saturday, we were lying on the couch under blankets and we started talking about who is buying brown mascara? Like why does it exist? Yeah. And then we decided that it's the same it's the same woman who is also buying bootcut jeans because you know somebody once told her they're slimming. So yeah. now she's a slave to the bootcut jeans. And we, we started talking about this character and you know applying more characteristics to her and eventually we gave her the name Ashling. Yeah, just because it's quite a common we, we often get asked like why did you call her Ashling? Mm -hmm. And it's for various reasons. It's a common Irish name. It is. Um, it's a lovely girl name. Like Ashlyn's are usually lovely girls. Yeah. Um, it's an, one of Ashlyn's uh, characteristics would be that she would it would really annoy her if people spelled her name wrong. Oh, I get that. Yeah. 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 Yes. So, yeah. yeah. so Ashlyn would be a name that would that can yeah. be spelled a couple of different ways. And it also <laughs> it, we didn't mean it this way, but Ashlyn actually means dream in Irish. Yes. It's what does like it? the, she's like the Irish dream. A vision. Yeah. A vision. Yeah. That's actually really funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I, I found that to be true. I lived in Ireland for one and a half years now and I find so many of the cliches that you put in the book were so true just yeah. like the love of Barry's tea or just meeting the family because when I met my boyfriend's family for the first time they like just like they're like the renovation. Did they paint the house? They didn't paint the house but they went I to get they the did. hair done. Yeah. Maybe they did. I don't yeah. know. Um, no but more my, my friend arrived and he was like oh my mum like had her hair done and everything yeah. so they really yeah. yeah. So did you just um, like pick up all the Irish cliches or like do you We kind of wrote. We didn't set out to do that. No. We didn't. We're, we're both country girls yeah 
who moved to Dublin to go to college and to work. So a lot we're of it, yeah, we're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So a lot of it was written from our own experiences. Like so much of what's in our books is based on stuff that actually happened. Oh, and we tell that to people and they're like, no, and you're like, yes. And because we write it together, a lot of stuff is shared experience. Yeah. And it's just you know, it's authentic and people yeah. really, I guess, it resonates yeah. with people. And even the little town where Ashling is from is a mixture of the places we both grew up. That's cool. And it, like a lot, it is cliches and Irish cliches, but that's because we're Irish and yeah. it's just... And it's, yeah. it's true too. Yeah, it's yeah, real. Yeah. It's real yeah. To people us. really relate to it and yeah. even people from outside Ireland, they're like, oh, there are, you know, German Ashlings or there yeah. are British Ashlings. They're everywhere. I hope it's the same when it comes out in Germany. I hope so. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure uh, yeah, there will be some German Ashlings. So <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so was there anything that you just said you, you kind of used real experience? Um, did you have any friends who were like, oh, this is me in the book? Everyone is always like, yeah. is this me or is this based yeah. on me? But because we write together, as Emer described with Saif, I'll start something and she'll continue with it. So a lot of it is just an it's amalgam mixture, of yeah. all, yeah. like, loads of people that we know. We've definitely used experiences that we would have had with friends, but we would be very careful not to use anything yeah. you know, out of, out of line or whatever. And we've definitely used stuff that influenced both of our lives. But some funny things that happen with friends will be yeah. like, this has to <laughs> we, I'll often have people say like this has to go into the next book. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's re- that's yeah. really cool because then they're really supportive. Actually, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. that's Definitely. nice. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any cliches about Germans or stereotypes? Um, I would I would think Germans are very orderly. Yeah. Um, which Ashling relates to because she likes things I done in a certain way. Yeah. <laughs> I think there is a Always line in the time. book. Um, that she she says that she always has an she has an affinity, oh, she has with, an affinity the with the Germans. Yeah, that's one when, when yeah. they go to Berlin. She's like, oh yeah, I like the Germans because they're in time and organized. Yeah, like me, which yeah. she appreciates. <laughs> um, they yeah. like beer. Yeah, Oktoberfest. has actually come to Dublin, which is great. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah I heard that. Yeah. Any other stereotypes about Germans? Um, there's a scene. Ashton goes to Germany in the book, um, and she goes to Berlin, and you know, it's not the kind of historical walking tour. Um, yeah, idea of Berlin she that thinking, she would like. like yeah. She had her lonely planet out, she was like marking things yeah. off. <laughs> um, so yeah, German people know how to party and Ashling finds that out the hard way. <laughs> yeah, so many Irish people go to Berlin or other places in Germany to party. I know so my friends big, did too. Yeah. yeah. A lot of techno. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. okay. So have you been to Germany before? Yes. Uh, only to Berlin. I've been to, to party? Berlin twice. Or no, oh, okay. well, what's, the, what's <laughs> the opposite of party? The first time it was with my mother, <laughs> so it was a lovely mini break. And then the second time was actually a lovely visit. It was with a friend who was recently bereaved. And we just said, let's go away. And she said, I love Berlin, I love Germany, let's go there. And we just had such a lovely time. We just found it to be really warm and welcoming, even though nobody knew why we were there. But it yeah. was just lovely. We went to lovely coffee shops and we, nice. it was really lovely. I have a yeah. really lovely memory of it. So hopefully you can come back now that your book is out. Yeah, I'd love to. I've been to Berlin with my family um, for the historical walking tour. Oh, you did that? Yeah. And also when I was in school, I studied German in school um, and we went on a school tour to uh, Munich and yeah we had a fantastic time it was a big deal to be going on a plane on a school tour I, know, I think it was actually yeah. my first time on a plane I think my first international trip ever was to Munich and had a great time that's great do you know any German sentence that's still stuck in mind <laughs> I did study German for six years <laughs> I'm the same with French I forgot everything Bo is Dijips that's the most yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's I'm sure another Irish cliche actually yeah. 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 it's perfect Bo is Dijips yeah. <laughs> I don't. I never study German at all, so yeah. I'm very much. I've, I know Vo is the chips because that's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a line in the book. Actually. Yeah. So funny. Yeah. So I don't want to give away too much of the plot, but you included feminist debates, which I love because mm-hmm. I was reading it. I was kind of expecting chiclet, which isn't bad at all, but it's yeah. kind of usually you know not too deep. Mm-hmm. And you did it completely different, which was really yeah. surprising for me. Was that a conscious decision, or what, was it just because you said you don't really plot the whole book? Mm-hmm. Did it yeah. just happen? It kind of just happened when we were writing this book. Um, it's in 2016. I, see, I think yeah. we started it in 2016, and yeah, into 2017. And the mm. issue of bodily autonomy and choice was really big in Ireland yeah. at the time, and has stayed really big. And we were just trying to think of plot points and like what is affecting women of Ashling's age in Ireland at the moment, and we just felt like we couldn't ignore it. Yeah. It was just the biggest thing we thought that was you know something that might have been on her mind. And that's why we included it, and it wasn't 
it, it happened quite organically like it yeah. just we it, it's actually a storyline that people really enjoy and really relate to and um, ended up being quite big in terms of the move towards um, you know bodily autonomy in yeah. Ireland and the Together for Yes campaign which yeah. was a movement towards women having choice in Ireland that's so the right. so yeah. response was positive too oh, yeah very, very positive. Positive. and Marion Keyes is one of our favourite authors and she writes chick lit and her books always have yeah. you know a meteor storyline in there whether that, it's about yeah. addiction or depression or whatever and yeah. you know I think people often discount women's fiction because they, they think do. it's very frothy yeah. or fun you know but yeah. if you actually read it you'll find that you know a lot of bigger and deeper themes are covered yeah. definitely it's always like a negative connotation and they always think it's shallow but it's not actually and you've read yeah. it also yeah yeah yeah, we yeah we hope we managed to do it with a little bit of humor and yeah. people oh, were surprised. <laughs> I think people were just expecting straightforward comedy, and then me they too. Got, and I was yeah. laughing a lot, and that made me cry so much. And yeah. I was laughing again because you can't. It's it's not you know it's not sad in itself. It is mm-hmm. in, in scenes, but it's so yeah. funny. You kind of just want we to. We get a lot of tweets from people saying, "I'm crying on the bus. Thank yeah. you." Yeah, I wasn't expecting I was, to be crying I was on the train. Re- yeah, <laughs> me too. I was reading it on the train. I was like looking for my tissues. I was like, "Oh yeah. shit, I'm crying." <laughs> but, sorry yeah. about that. No, don't be. Sorry. Sorry, I love that actually because you said we could we couldn't ignore it, but you could have, and you choose to not. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's great. Yeah. yeah. So there was a choice. Um, you said you grew up in the countryside. Mm-hmm. What do you prefer, living in Dublin or the countryside? Ooh. it's a tough question because I grew up in the countryside too. Well, when I grew up in the country, all I wanted to do was live in the city Me and too. live where I didn't wasn't surrounded by fields and cows. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the older I get, the more appealing the countryside is. Yeah. Like, I go home. Very quiet. Very I quiet. And so green too, especially yeah. compared to Dublin. Yeah. yeah, very green. So I go home to visit my mother who still lives in the countryside and I'm yeah. like, oh, this is lovely. Could I live here again? Maybe we'll give it another 15 <laughs> years. I'm the same. I left home at 18 and when I moved to Dublin, I was just like, I can't go back. I just, I, I want to be able to order pizza whenever I want and yeah. I want all that. But as Imer said, now when I go home, my parents still live in the countryside as well. What I didn't like about it growing up is what really appeals yeah. to me now. <laughs> and I know loads of my German viewers from YouTube, they want to go see Ireland because I did vlogs in Ireland. Is there any particular city or place you could recommend? So many. So many. So yeah. many. I, I mean, yeah. Dublin is fabulous as, yeah. you know, a very glamorous, cosmopolitan European city. Yeah. Um, you know, the nightlife is amazing. Irish people are famous for our crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's not crack cocaine. Yeah. That is. We should explain that too. What does crack mean? Crack basically means fun, but it's kind of a specific type of fun. Yeah. Um, Irish people are known for our sense of humor. Like yeah. There's a, a yeah. phrase here, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Um, yeah. And you know, crack is kind of like you might be taking the piss out of somebody, which yeah. means you're kind of Take, taking the mick which is another way of saying it kind of making fun of them but in a light in a very way when I, when I moved to Ireland way. I didn't know what that meant I was like does he have to go to the do because okay. I thought <laughs> that's what it meant yeah. but then outside Dublin we actually did a lot of travelling around Ireland in the past year and a half because we were doing a lot of book promotion and we did you know went to a lot of the cities and villages um, down in the south in Kerry and Dingle is absolutely beautiful so there's oh, yeah. the Ring of Kerry which yeah. is very popular with tourists yeah. um, Dingle kind of has it all it's a, it's a small town it's well, it has the pubs, either. it has the music, it, it has, has the coast, scenery, it's the dolphin. Beautiful. Yeah, a lot of crack <laughs> down in Dingle. A lot of crack. Crack Hook is yeah. kill, which is fun and music. Yeah. West Cork is really nice as West well. West Cork is yeah. beautiful. Very yeah. scenic. And because Ireland is so small, you can just take the bus. You can just take yeah. the bus, and you could do a lot of that in th- probably three days. You could cover yeah. so much of that beautiful kind of south southwest coast it's just amazing and you'll get every um type of weather as well yeah and then closer to dublin in one day too yeah, <laughs> yeah. closer to dublin wicklow is just wicklow you know an hour away and, and really like scaries too yeah. yeah yeah dublin also yeah. has a coast that people sort of don't know about you kind of put some cliches about men too in your books and i found them to be true like um the guys just driving up to their mothers to give them all the laundry on the weekend <laughs> yeah. and then driving back to the city <laughs> what do you think about gender yeah do you think they're changing is it still the same I mean, they probably have changed a lot in the yeah. past, God knows how many decades. Mm-hmm. Um, it sounds like we're being unfair to men there with those cliches. But they, I mean, they're though. cliches for a reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And Irish mammies um, are very into nurturing their sons and yeah. possibly mollycoddling yeah. them a little bit. Um, yeah. And, and insisting that the laundry comes home with yeah. <laughs> especially during a certain so stage in their to. lives they yeah, have to, to keep days. their mammies happy yeah. I do think young men prob- men who are in their 20s now are probably quite different to even half a generation before them you know they're yeah. a little bit more clued in <laughs> to you know not relying too much on the women in their lives yeah. and stuff like that but I mean it's, it is such an Irish stereotype 
to be, you know, a mommy's boy yeah. and for the Irish mother to really love her. I mean, every mother loves her son, but, yeah, you know, to really... Um, it's a special connection. It's a special it is, connection, yeah. yeah. And, and sure, why would you break it? Yeah. <laughs> and I felt like Ashley was kind of... Not, not being the mommy, but you know, when she always cleaned up the apartment, yeah. it was yeah. kind of her too. Yeah. Ashley does and like to take care of the men in her life, she yeah. does, whether it's her yeah. dad or her boyfriend. Um, and yeah, she, in some ways, she's like a kind of a younger Irish mommy character. Yeah. Yeah. She likes to take care of things, she likes to be in charge. Yeah. And actually, it was important for us in the book to kind of break away a little bit from that Irish mommy stereotype. Mm-hmm. So it is kind of a stereotype of you know, the woman in an apron, you know, with the tea towels yeah. and doing all the housework. And we, it was important for us to move away from that. So the mother character in the book has had a very full life and we learn a lot about yeah, her. And she she's is. not just a background character, you know, yeah. going, give me your laundry. No, she's not. She's actually yeah. a really deep character yeah. too. Yeah. 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 So we were happy with the way that turned out. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's we great. got a lot of fun. Are you yourself more like Ashton or more like a flatmates? Are you organised? Okay. Or? Oh. <laughs> Can I just... I'm definitely more like Ashton. Eva is definitely more like Ashton. <laughs> and how I found that out was when we were in our early 20s, we went to a big music festival. <laughs> kind of a crazy music festival. Yeah. Um, a two or three day sort of affair you go and you camp and I remember we got there and at this time me and Eva had become really good friends and our friend groups had merged so there was a big gang of us there we got to the um, music festival we were sitting down having our cans of beer and I was like where's Eva gone and I turned around and she had pitched her tent within minutes um, and was in there uh, with her air pump pumping up her bed she had her car keys on a lanyard around her neck for safety she had the earplugs she was there for the full eight hour sleep every Night. That sounds like Ashling is you, actually. <laughs> that was what I knew. Eva was Ashling. Had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, with all my preparedness, somebody at that festival stole my rucksack. Oh no! While I was pumping up the air pen. You see, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But yeah. Sarah definitely has some Ashling in her. I when I met her I this morning to come here and talk to you, the first. The first thing she said to me, I have the washing out already. <laughs> because it's lovely drying. And I it was, it's really early too, just to be yeah, here, so. yeah, yeah, it's Whoa. good drying. It's like um, so and also yeah. something else that's very Ashling was when I was waiting for you this morning, I was aggre- I aggressively targeted man with a map. Oh, he yeah. looked a little bit lost. It's my goal in life to make sure every tourist knows exactly where they're going. <laughs> They've had the good Irish welcome. But that's all the Irish hit. Because whenever I look lost, everyone's like, are you okay? Do you need help? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was just looking at my phone. Every, every Irish person has a bit of Ashling in them. Yeah. Can I help? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's really lovely. Um, so another question I have. Um, you just mentioned Ashling's kind of taking on the mother role. And there's a lot of pressure on her. Like she, ha- she has to take care of her dad. She has to perform well at her job. She wants, kind of wants a fancy lifestyle. She lives in Dublin, but wants to visit her parents and she's Ashling and has a boyfriend or not anymore there's so much pressure on her and young women in general do you have any recommendations for people who might be in her position um I feel like what I've learned the older I've gotten a lot of the pre- a lot of pressure on Ashling and on young women is that they care about what other people think of them and that happens to Ashling she's worried that people are going to say oh no she's not with the boyfriend anymore yeah. what's going to happen to her and the older you get, the less you care about what people think of you. So I know that's not much help to somebody who's in their like it early or twenties. <laughs> yeah, you do care, start to care less. Okay. So I'd love to like tell people like it, you know, you try and start doing that now. Try and yeah. start start caring a little bit less. Um, Ashley feels like she's on this very specific trajectory because everyone around her gets engaged, yeah. gets married, Children, has a ba- or builds yeah. a house down home and has yeah. a baby and she feels like she's being left behind a little bit. So that's why she's, she, all this pressure is on herself to get, to get engaged and get married. But really, as Emer said, it's all kind of outside things. She needs to, yeah. you know... She never really imagined another life for herself. She just thought, well, this is what's going to happen to yeah. me and that's what I'm going to end up doing. And it changed. Yeah. And it changed. <laughs> and she, I mean, she had a lot to do with that herself, which is great. She, did, know, yeah, she made which a lot of decisions. She pushed herself out of her comfort exactly. zone. Yeah. That's what I love most. And, and yeah. gained a lot from that. So yeah. that's definitely some advice. And it's fun. I, I still love going back and reading it when she first moves into the fancy apartment and she's just yeah. like... I know. <laughs> there's a vegan. No, there's <laughs> avocados everywhere. <laughs> That's what I love about her. She doesn't understand it, but she's not judgmental about it. She's really tolerant, yeah. actually. Oh, which yeah. Is what I love. It's all just yeah. new to her. And, you know, yeah. the same with the girls that she moves in with. They're, one of the things that people say to us, what they enjoy about the book, is there's no bitchiness between the women. Yeah. They're all just yeah, very yeah, open just to each friends. other. And 
like that's our experience as well yeah. like yeah. as friends you know there's there's not the, all this catty background drama all the time yeah. Yeah. There's, there's no jealousy involved there's no need yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's really diverse too especially when they were in the pub you know on the countryside you yeah. kind of got the diversity which I loved yeah yeah, yeah that that's brilliant. what that's one thing that people don't expect about Ireland we're very diverse now there's you people are, from yeah. all nationalities yeah. living all over the country and even in very rural areas where people yeah. expect it to be like exactly, this old man yeah. in all the pubs where and everyone's so welcoming so yeah. especially now like I don't want to go into politics too much but mm-hmm. in Germany you know the right wing parties are uh-huh. sort of like getting bigger again so I love that actually to show that diversity and include yeah. that in the book so that was yeah. really lovely thank you for that <laughs> and um, your book is coming out soon and I also heard there's a movie adaptation coming yes That's right. can yes. you tell us anything about that sure yeah we are working with Element Pictures mm-hmm. which is one of Ireland's biggest film production companies they've been nominated for several Oscars so um, yeah we um, are working with them we are currently developing the screenplay oh you're working with them too so yeah we're writing, yes, it, ourselves. Yeah, we're writing it ourselves yeah. Yeah. Yes, which so. is another Google situation. Oh, yeah. no <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? No, another classic Eber and Sarah situation. Yeah. yeah, we'll do it. It'll be fine. But it's in control been, now. So it's been good. so we've been working on that probably for about a year, a little over oh, wow. a year. Yeah. Um, and it's been such a great learning process. But we're starting now to move into. They've started mentioning director, directors, directors, and yeah. stuff like that. So it's becoming a reality. It's, wow. Yeah. yeah. Are you wait. involved in the casting of the? Yeah, Not specifically, yeah, yeah. but we work very closely with Element, um, so you know they run everything by us, and yeah. hopefully we'll sit down and you know they have yeah. some people in mind, and you know we have people sending us casting videos and things. And it's like really? we're not in charge of that. That's okay. somebody's job. So they're not at that stage yet, but I like they would never. I don't think they would cast. And Ashling that we weren't happy with. That's for yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and we you're pretty also pretty writing. I don't know how you manage with all your time, but you're also writing more books. Yeah, so there's more yeah. Ashling books coming out. Yeah, yeah, so we have just finished our third Ashling book. Yeah, and um, which is coming out in Ireland in September. So that's going to be interesting. The first book oh, will yeah, come out in Germany, and, and the third, third one, one will come out in Ireland. So yeah, Ashling's where she is now in the third book is quite different to where yeah. she is in this book. So She's it's, it's book. really fun to go back. Your book is coming out August 23rd and you just said you saw it for the first time ever in the German edition. Yeah. And you're coming to Frankfurt to actually tell everyone more about the book. And thank you so much for the interview. So I hope you enjoy the book as well. And thank you, Sarah and Eber. Thank you. Thank you for having us, Annabelle.